Tanzania is a country with many tourist attractions. Close to half of Tanzania's land area is set aside as protected areas for national parks and conservation. There are 17 national parks, 29 game reserves, 40 controlled conservation areas and marine parks. Tanzania is also home to Mount Kilimanjaro, the highest point in Africa. All this covers approximately 40% of Tanzania's landmass, one of the highest in the world. Before we continue with this video, kindly subscribe to our channel if you are new and turn on our notification to always get notified each time we drop a video. Stay tuned. Tanzania is home to a very large variety of animal life. Among the large mammals include the big five, cheetahs, wildebeest, giraffes, hippopotamuses and various antelopes, and this has led the country to reserve and secure areas with large presence of these animals as national parks. Tanzania's most well-known wildlife attractions are located in the northern part of the country and include the Serengeti National Park, Tarangire National Park and Lake Manjara National Park. The Serengeti National Park encompasses the world-famous Great Migrations of Animals. The Serengeti National Park is the most popular park in the country and had the chance to host more than 330,000 visitors in 2012. In 2018, Serengeti National Park was voted the best African safari park following the depth study conducted by Safari Bookings, the largest online marketplace for African safaris. The North is also home to the Ngorongoro Conservation Area. The Ngorongoro Conservation Area includes the Ngorongoro Crater, which is an extinct volcanic caldera with lions, hippopotamuses, elephants, various types of antelope, the endangered black rhinoceros and large heads of wildebeest and zebras. Oduvai Gorge, considered to be the seat of humanity after the discovery of the earliest known specimens of the human genus, Homo habilis as well as early Homo nidae, such as Paranthropus bose, also lies within the conservation area. The western part of Tanzania includes the Mahali, Katavi and Gombe National Parks, the latter of which is the site of Jane Goodall's ongoing study which began in 1960 of chimpanzee behavior. The country is also particularly rich in plant diversity. The Tanzania National Parks Authority has an entire national park, the Kitulo National Park dedicated to flowers. There is a wide variety of biomass across the nation. Also known as the Roof of Africa, Mount Kilimanjaro is a UNESCO World Heritage Site and the highest peak in Africa. The mountain rises approximately 4,877 meters from its base to 5,895 meters above sea level. The mountain is located in the north of the country on the border with Kenya in the town of Moshi and is accessible via Kilimanjaro International Airport. The airport also provides a gateway for tourists to all northern safari circuits. The mountain is part of Kilimanjaro National Park and is the second most popular park in the country and roughly 20,000 visitors trek the mountain every year. The mountain is one of the most accessible high peaks in the world and has an average success rate of around 65%. Tanzania is home to seven UNESCO World Heritage Sites with six of them on the mainland and one in Zanzibar. Currently, there are five more sites viable to be nominated such as the Gombe National Park and the East African Slave Trade Route. In 2019, the Tanzanian tourism sector generated $2.6 billion in revenues with 1.5 million tourist arrivals. In 2020, due to COVID-19, travel receipts declined to $1 billion and the number of international tourist arrivals declined to 616,491. In October 2021, the Ministry of Natural Resources and Tourism of Tanzania has been granted $39 billion for the financial year 2021-2022, part of the IMF loan for emergency financial assistance to support Tanzania's efforts in responding to the COVID-19 pandemic. Give this video a like if you enjoyed it and feel free to drop a comment in the comment section below. Thanks for watching.